Hey there, I'm Jess Bud from Marketing O'Clock and it is time for a marketing tutorial. If you listen to the show, you've heard that these are coming, they are now here. We are talking about campaign level text assets for RSAs, RSAs being responsive search ads. So what are they? Um, in Google's words, they are campaign level headlines and descriptions that allow you to associate up to three headlines and two description assets at the campaign level level. Those assets can then be applied to all enabled RSAs within a campaign. So any RSAs that you have set up at the ad group level, you can build on top of those with these campaign level assets, which is really, really awesome. A couple reasons you might want to use them other than the fact that you just get that extra real estate on top of the RSAs that you already have. You can schedule these assets to show at a certain time across the campaign, which is great for promos and messaging that has a specific start and end date. You can share campaign level headlines and descriptions, again, across that entire campaign. If you have messaging that you want uh, everywhere, but it needs to be updated frequently, you only have to update it once instead of putting it at each individual ad and updating it multiple times. So. Really cool stuff there, making your life a lot easier on top of, again, giving you the added benefit, right, of extra headlines and descriptions on top of what you already have in your campaign. So it's really great for like high level branded messaging um, and things that you want, again, to apply across your entire campaign on top of the more specific ad group level uh, text that you have in your RSAs. So that's awesome. Okay, so let's set some up. It's really, really easy. So you just pop in to the interface. And again, these are for RSAs. So you have to be in your search campaigns to create this, but you can just pop in, pick the one you want to work with. And then on your sidebar over here, you just go into the assets menu, select assets under assets. Then you can create a new one with this blue plus here, create an asset. And you'll see, at least for now, these have this little new tag on here, but these are, again, I'm I'm at the campaign level when I'm creating these, a headline and a description. So then you can just click into whichever one you're making. We're making a headline here for the sake of example. And you can see the campaign it's going to be associated with and you can just start typing in my great headline. And then there you have it. You also, under this advanced options, this is where you can set that schedule. Again, if you're like running a promo or something and you want this messaging to expire, you can do it right here. And then you just hit save and it would apply across your campaign. Now pro tip here, as I said that um, you can see here the campaign that it's going into. If you didn't drill into a specific campaign before and you were just at the all campaigns view for search campaigns, you can create these assets campaign level still, but across multiple campaigns at the same time. So we can do that with descriptions here. So I'm not within a single campaign. I'm just filtering by search campaigns. I'm back in that assets menu and I'm going to create a new one. Let's create a description this time. And here to start, you can either apply it to all of your search campaigns, maybe click a few that you want to apply it to. And then this way I am creating those campaign level assets across multiple campaigns. So even easier uh, to save if you are, again, using like branded messaging or a promo or something that's, you know, at a wider scale than your campaigns and ad groups. You can do it here. And again, same thing with your scheduling for the descriptions. And don't forget to say what your description is. My description rocks. I'm the best at ad copy. And then save it. And there you go. This is very simple, very easy to set up. A couple, I won't call them caveats, I'll call them notes. Um, with pinning, if you have, you can pin um, the campaign level assets uh, for headlines and descriptions, but if you also have assets pinned at the ad level in your RSAs, anything that is pinned at the same position is eligible to show. So campaign is not going to dominate over um, ad level pinning and vice versa. It's just literally anything in the mix is available if it is pinned. And then also per Google's help article, you won't see these campaign level assets at the RSA level when you're creating new ones. So don't forget that they're there once you create them and end up repeating yourself, wasting that extra real estate. Um, you know, again, this is bonus headlines and descriptions on top of what's in your RSAs. But just again, remember that you're not going to be able to see them when you're creating an individual RSA at the ad group level. So just something of note, but really this can save people a ton of time and you know, really be 
an asset, hot pun intended, to advertisers that have a little bit more to say and again, some of that broader messaging or things that are frequently updated if you only wanna change it into one in one place. It's really, really helpful, really handy. We're so glad they're here. Thank you, Google Ads. Um, and thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, make sure that you check out Marketing O'Clock, which is our weekly digital marketing news podcast. It comes out every Friday. And you can subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one as well. So please check it out and give us a like, subscribe, enjoy. <laughs>